boys and girls. Well, all of us here in the studio are very happy that you decided to join us today on Jumbleland, because we have a lovely program waiting for you. We have all the things that you like to do, and we're going to have a very good fun half an hour. Now, my friends here in the studio were telling me that they've all been back at school for quite some time. Is that right? Yes. 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 You've all been back to school after your long, long summer holidays. Yeah? Yes. How, how did it feel going back to school those first few days? Was it a bit tough? Yes. Did you really not yes. want to go? Yes. But you had to kind of force yourself to go, isn't it? Yes. What do you like best in school, Jonathan? I like to draw pictures and um, do some sums. You like sums? Yes. Oh, I hate sums. <laughs> Very boring. <laughs> but I used to like to draw pictures. Who else likes doing sums? You do? Gosh, you are good students, aren't you? I bet all of you like to draw pictures, though, because that's very nice, isn't it? Do any of you know anything about threading jewellery? No. no. Do any of you like jewellery? Yes. Well, I can tell you that in the second half of our show, we have a game that's kind of unusual, and we're going to be threading beads, you know? Threading beads through the holes. And it's all going to be down to the quickest one who can thread the, the string of beads. So I hope that you're going to be good with your hands and be able to do that. So you've got that in the second half of the show. Well, I think we're going to start off today with a story. And it's called Chickadiddy's Nest. <coughs> We're going to see what happens to this old chicken. You all ready for the story? Yes. yes. Be nice and quiet while we read it. Okay. The twins had decided to make a pond for their tadpoles, which had been living in a glass jar since the day that they were caught. So Patrick and Paul dug a hole in the earthy bank by their house and covered the bottom with sand from the stream. Then they put big white stones all around the edge so that when the tadpoles turned into little frogs, they would have cool caves to hide in. And between the stones, they planted tufts of grass. Now I will fetch the water to fill it up, said Patrick, going off with his bucket. But the water stirred up the sand on the bottom and made the pond very, very muddy. We'd better not put the tadpoles in until tomorrow, said Paul. By then it will have cleared. But next day, when the twins went to look at their pond, they got a surprise. Right in the middle of the pond sat Chickadiddy, the big, fat hen. What was she doing in the pond? <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Why, I do believe she's laying an egg in our pond, laughed Paul. <laughs> and so she was. All the water had soaked away and the sun had dried out the sand. It made a perfect nest for Chickadiddy, but it was not a very good pond for tadpoles. <laughs> I've heard of duck ponds, laughed Patrick, but we've made a chicken pond. <laughs> Would you believe it? How about that? A chicken pond, a chicken pond. We've made a chicken pond, sang Paul. So, the tadpoles are still in their big glass jar, and each day, Chickadiddy lays an egg in her pond. She thinks it was made specially for her. And neither Patrick nor Paul will ever tell that it was once meant for something quite, quite different. That all seemed to make, that all made you laugh, didn't it? Yes. Yes. Like that. Yes. Funny old hen, she thought it was just all made for her. She didn't realize it was supposed to be something quite, quite different, really. Do you, do you know what hens look like? Yes. yes. Do you know what baby chicks look like? Yes. Have you ever held one of those, you know, nice fluffy yellow little baby chicks? Yeah. They're gorgeous, aren't they? They are really nice. Well, we're not going to see any baby chicks on Pet's Corner today, but we are going to see a fish. And Christopher Warburton has brought on his fish. That's your brother, isn't it, Jonathan? Yes. 
your little brother. So he's brought on his fish. I'm going to go over to Pet's Corner. We're going to learn all about his goldfish. Hi there, Christopher. Hi. Well, here we are on Pet's Corner. Hello there. Oh, you have. You've come to take a closer look, huh? Yes. Oh, that's nice. Okay, well, what have you got to tell us about this goldfish, Christopher? What's his name, first of all? Goldie. His name is Goldie. And why did you call him Goldie? He's a gold type. He's a gold type. <laughs> well, he's a gold colour and he's a goldfish, too, isn't he? He's very small, isn't he? Don't, yes. Don't you feed him enough? Yes. How often do you feed him? I feed him every two days. Oh, dear. I should be very hungry if I didn't eat for two days. Is that the usual way with fish? No, no I don't know, really. But that seems to be okay for him? Yes. Well, how old is he? Well, we bought him about a month ago. Oh, so could it be that he's just a baby goldfish? Yes. Then? Actually, he's not not too small. He's about an inch and a half, isn't he? Yes, Nearly yes. two inches long, actually, so that's not too bad considering he's a baby goldfish. Did you get him for your birthday present? Yes. No. No? No? What happened? How did you come to, to buy a goldfish? Well, we were shopping and um, we, 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 I asked my mum if um, I could have a fish. She said yes. Oh, where did you get him? About? Did you buy him in the pet shop? No, there's this, like, an alleyway down, and uh, the, there's um, where you can buy some clothes and shorts, and, oh. the, and there's different other kinds of fish and tents. Oh, I you see. You brought him there. You brought him there. Did you also buy there this gorgeous little house? Yes. Can you see how pretty it is? Yes. Very cute, isn't it? Because mm -hmm. it's good. It's the tank at the bottom, if you see children. And then here, it's like a little house at the top, and it has a... Can you see this window, girls? Yes. Don't you think that's the cutest thing? Yes. I don't know if you're supposed to pop your hand in there and get him out, but, no. or if it's just for decoration. But anyway, it's just lovely. You put him in the sink. You put him in the sink? Yes. When do you she put him in the, the sink? Out. Is that when you, you decide to clean him? Yes. And how often would that be? How often do you clean him out? Do you clean him or do you clean him, Jonathan? We'll be taking turns sometimes. Oh, you're very good, aren't you? Every two days we do it. Yes, and what, what do you do? How do you clean him? Well, How do you clean the tank out? We just throw um, it in cold water and um, then wash it back out again. And then we feed it. Oh, I see. Then you feed him after he's had his, yes. his tank cleaned? Well, we and then um, another two days we just Oh, I see. Well, then, if, if you do it every two days, it, it stays nice and clean, doesn't it? Yes. Yes. How about you girls? Do you have any fishes for, for pets? No. no. What do you two have? We don't have anything. You don't have anything at all? No. No pets at all? No. How can you live without pets? Pets are lovely. Well, we had two goldfishes. Did you? We had one black with um, gold spots, and we had a gold one. But one was smaller, the golden one, and, and the other one ate it. Oh dear. Well, at least killed it. Yeah, that came to a sticky end. And then two days after, the other one died too. Oh dear. You probably felt very guilty about killing and eating the other one. It probably poisoned him. Yeah. Yeah. Do you have, what kind of pets do you have down in Uruguay? Patricia here in the blue dress, uh, her mum is from Uruguay, yes, in South America. Have you been down there? Yes. It's lovely, isn't it? Yeah. I know South America. And what kind of pets do you have there? Don't have any. Do, do the children there have different pets from the ones we have here in Hong Kong? No. Just about the same type yeah. of thing? Yes. Yeah. Well, sometimes with goldfishes and other fishes, you get a problem in the winter if you live in cold countries. If you've ever had fishes in England, you know that you have to be very careful with the, the bowl, the goldfish bowl, when it's cold in winter, because they can freeze to death, and you know, yes. and you wake up in the morning and they're fish. dead. Does he? Yes. You have one. to be very careful. But here in Hong Kong, I think there's no problem really about, about that, is there? Because it's warm most of the time. Mm. So have you had fishes before, you two? No. 
This is your first fish? No, not actually. Um, we bought 12 and 11 died. Oh! We had to bring black ones. Yes. We brought two more, including this, and then they, and it was a black one. Mm -hmm. And they two died, so we've already got this one there. Oh dear, you all seem to have very bad luck with your fishes. Mm. I hope you're going to feed this one lots yes. of food and make him grow big and strong and fat. So he won't die, or and he, don't buy him any any little playmates, so they won't eat him up, huh? In in a while, we're going to buy a big tank for him. Oh yes. So well, as he grows, he can have more more space. Those those tanks are nice that you can have lit up. You know, with yes. all kind of plants and rocks and corals in. And you can see them swimming through all the rocks. They're very pretty. Yes. You can have them in the house. Yeah, my dad sometimes goes on a trunk trip, and he sometimes. Uh, catches fish for the uh, tank. Oh, I tank. see. Once they caught an octopus. Did they? Gosh, he he climbed I'm out glad you didn't have an octopus. You bring an octopus on Pet's Corner. Oh. Oh, well, that was very nice to talk to you all about your pets and this one in particular. And we'll be seeing you in just a moment with part two of Jumbo Land.